these stories, these collection of stories that were about fertility rituals and psychedelic mushroom use. <laughs> and he traced the word Jesus back to an ancient Sumerian word that was a mushroom covered in God's semen. And that when God would come on the earth, that's what rain was. Rain was God coming on the earth. And that these mushrooms would rise up out of the ground. They would eat them and trip their fucking balls off, right? <laughs> that's a so, crazy story. <laughs> so me, me, you got to think. Yeah. People that were foraging for food, especially back when there was no agriculture, right? I mean, it was it was touch and go. You, know, you could easily starve to death. You, I mean, you, a bad winter, you know, a drought, people would starve to death. It was very, very common. So they would take foraging extremely serious, and they knew what they could eat, and they knew what they couldn't eat. Well, they knew that there was a relationship between carnivorous trees, and carnivorous trees would grow these weird looking shiny red and white mushrooms under them that's what coniferous trees is pine trees that's what we use for christmas trees yeah those red and white packages they they are like the shiny packages underneath the christmas tree they are the color of santa claus yeah they're common in siberia they're eaten constantly by caribou caribou are reindeer Reindeer are addicted to these to the point where when people are having psychedelic mushroom rituals and they go outside to take a leak The caribou will knock them over to get to the Amanita muscaria piss in the sand because they <laughs> smell the Amanita muscaria in the piss and One of the ways these guys trip their balls off is they eat the mushroom and then they drink their own urine They That's have a crazy. second process of this Here's where it gets even crazier. In the times in Siberia where it would become extremely snowy, when the, the shaman would visit, the way they would get into the house is through the fucking chimney because the door would be snowed in. So they would climb in through the chimney. I mean, there's so many parallels to Santa Claus and to Christianity, to this one mushroom that they think was a, a massive part of shamanistic rituals. There it is right there. This is this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that is that's Rudolph so crazy. the Red-Nosed I'm sure. That's such a cool story. <laughs> oh, dude, it's fucking crazy. So he yeah. wrote this book called The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross that was bought out by the Catholic Church. This I have to verify. Um, but I do know that they stopped production of it. I don't know if it was bought out by the Catholic Church. That's always been what's been told to me. But I do know that they stopped production of it forever. Um, he came out with another book called The Dead Sea Scrolls and the Christian Myth, which is still available. Then